Yeah, hello there. Um, so in this video, I'm going to actually show you how um, I applied one of the Vault templates, which is the FitVault template, to an app from one of the premium members. His name is Todd. So he sent me his app. So I made a call for apps, basically, and then he sent me his app called Photo Filter Factory. Very nice app, actually. Very similar to Inst Instagram, where you can actually add filters to photos. So on the right-hand side here, this is where you see as the original version of um, the app which actually doesn't look very bad I mean doesn't look bad at all I mean I, I don't mind what he's done with it here um, but then I've added but then what I've done is I've taken the fit pulse template and then I've tried to um, give it a little bit of a, a I don't know blue web 2 3.0 type look all right so what, what, what we have here is like we have a new navigation bar which has a glow in the middle there and then of course our UI bar button item is also new and then if you take a look here you, you see like a sort of shadow behind the main picture here and also some shadows and borders behind the filters and what I also like about this is the graphite tab bar which you have here at the bottom which actually looks very nice with um, a depressed fill when you actually tap on the selected item okay so let me show you how I got to this point and then yeah hopefully you can do the same for your apps all right so the first thing i did was to copy the resources from the fitballs template and then i pasted them in here in the in the app so I've, i have here the resources so basically these are the images which you'll see from the fitballs template so they are all in there and then we have the fitballs theme which actually takes control of all the theming that you know, that needs to be done so we have adb adv fit pulse theme dot m and then here we have all the theming going on in here all right so the first step i'm going to do is i mean if you run this if you run this on the iphone so if you run this on the iphone this is what we get um here i've selected an image already and then if i tap on the filters they actually come up and i can scroll back and forth to choose a filter all right so the first thing we're going to do is to um apply the ios appearance sdk or the ios the ios appearance customizations to it so if i go to the app delegate up here and in the app delegate um i include the adv theme.h which is included there and then i say adv theme manager customize appearance and then in the next step i want to now customize the tab bar here so what here what i'm doing here is i'm, I'm taking the tab bar all the items from the main view controller and then, and then I'm applying the theme to it right so here I've custom I've done ADV theme manager customize tab bar item so what this does is this customize the general theme like the tab bars the navigation bar and the UI bar button item and then this one customizes the tab bar items itself so if you run that let's see what we actually what shows up all right, so you can see we already have some nice changes here. We have a new navigation bar set up and we already have a, a new UI bar button item, which you can see there on the reset button. And then our tab bar here, also you can see that has been modified as well. Okay, so now we have the, um, the new tab bar and then the new, and then the selected items actually show pop up as green, which is actually what is implemented in the FitPulse template. So the next step is the one to actually um, change the the background of the main view here and then change how these items in here look like right okay so let's do that next so if I go into my PF frame view controller that's the main view controller where basically everything happens so the first thing I want to do is uh, I want to add some shadows to the frame container this is the frame container that's the that's what that's what contains the images in here so if I remove that, okay, so what I've done here is I've set a gray border and then I've set the border to to one. Then I now have a couple of shadows, actually one shadow, which is about 0 0.6 white and then the shadow offset and then a shadow opacity. So that's what I'm going to set for that one. Then I'm also going to set... Um, and then the other thing I want to do is also we want to customize the ADV theme I'm sorry, the self, the view. So if I now do adv theme manager that customize view, 
So what this does is it's going to implement, well, actually, let's go into it so you can take a look at it. So what this does, is it just applies a new background to my view. So if you see in here, we have a background image, and then it says view that set background color to that background image here at the top. So depending on what you set, you can either set a background image or a background color, but this can always be changed, right? This is in the ADV theme manager. All right, so that's the first um, the first step. So the next step is I want to change the filter. So what we see down here, so basically the filter, the, each of the filter views. So right now, so PF view, filter view is actually the view that takes care of those filters. So what I want to now add is a couple of shadows there as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, create add a border color so make that white and then give it a two a two pixel border and then add a shadow which is the gray shadow and then the gray shadow has I mean it's gonna be about two pixels to the left and then to the bottom and then the opacity is one and the last thing we do is to make sure we rasterize it so it, the scrolling becomes is not gonna be choppy when we scroll along the filters okay so that's the first step and the next step is one I want to add a background view for my labels here what I think I mean this is just my I, I this is just my my preference right so we have some text over an image depending on what kind of image it is the text may not actually show so what I'm gonna add here is a black transparent background actually I'll show you here a black transparent background behind the text text just so that it's gonna be easier to see that text even if we have a very bright image that we are modifying okay so that's what I'm gonna do here so I have a UI view create that then I set the background color to black which has 0 0 0 here and then the alpha is 0 0.5 so it's gonna be like a see-through background and then I set the corner radius to the same corner radius which my other images or the image the image and the layers have and then I add that to my sub view right and that's all I need to do for that okay then the last step is to change the font itself so right now the font is a uh, so right now there's a shadow for the font so I mean initially there's a black sorry a white font with a black shadow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that mm. and then just give it like a basic white font of size 12 the color is white and then the background color is clear and I think that's all I need to do to, to get that up and running so let me run this and then see what we get on the iPhone all right so now we have that so if I now tap on the filter tab so you can already see what we, what we just created so here at the bottom we have you can see that here at the bottom we have um, some nice shadows for our filters and then a white background sorry a white border around it right and then also then we see the transparent background behind the text all right yeah so I think that's I mean that's all I want to show for this video just basically to show you how easy it is or how or how straightforward it is to actually get a new look and feel for your app so thank you very much for watching and thank you very much to Todd for sending me his uh, source code which I'm gonna delete right now after I send it back to him and um, I hope yeah you have a lot of success with photo filter factory thank you very much guys bye bye